Hello everyone, it's Miss Odom here. You can call me Miss O. And we are going to do the ice cream art project. And in this project, you're going to have a little bit of fun and pay three of the scoops in one color, but three different values. So you're gonna mix white. You're also gonna mix a little bit. You can also mix a little bit of black in a color. So when you mix white with a color, it is the tint. If you mix black with the color, it is a shade. Okay, and then one of the scoops, you're going to do a contrasting color for emphasis. Okay, contrasting color means that it is a different color or drastically different. Um, so it can pop a little bit. All right, so first I'm going to paint the waffle cone and I'm gonna use a tan color. It doesn't matter if you go outside the lines because you're gonna cut these out anyway. But try to make sure that your brush strokes are nice and even. Okay, so that's my cone. And when that dries, I'm going to make the cross marks for the waffle. I'm gonna clean my brush by swishing the brush in the water and taking some of the water off of my brush. Now I'm going to start with my <coughs> project. So I'll do the one in the middle. I'll do the, uh, I'll use orange. And so I'll do it with my base color Okay, my regular color will be orange. So hue is the name of the color, okay? I'm actually gonna do brush strokes for my orange, for my cones to give it some texture. Texture is the way something would feel if you were able to touch it. But in this case, it's all implied texture which means it looks like it has um, some kind of an interest in it. It's not solid. So you can see strokes in it. So that gives it texture. All right, for my shade, it, I'm gonna add a little bit of black to it. That'll give me a darker orange. So almost like a chocolate. Just a tiny little piece of black. Make sure there's no white showing inside the ice cream scoop. No white in my ice cream scoop. Then I'm going to wash my brush. Make sure you are washing your brush in between your scoops. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the white. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in it. I get like almost like a creamsicle color. You 
You can use whatever color you like, but you must use one color for these three. So it will be monochrome, which means different values of one color. So this is dark orange, orange, light orange. Or you can use red, dark red, light red. Or blue, dark blue, light blue. Green, dark blue, excuse me, green, dark green, light green. Or purple, dark purple, light purple. Okay? Any color you like. You can use brown for chocolate. You know, have fun with your colors. But these three must be a um, one color. And then the fourth scoop, I'm going to make a contrasting color. So it means a different color. I'm gonna clean my brush. And then, let's see. I want mine to be, I'm gonna make it a hot pink. Like a raspberry color. That would be cool. Have a nice neon effect. You notice I'm trying to make sure that the entire inside of my scoop is covered. The hue of this scoop is like a hot pink. Hue means the name of the color. All right. So now I'm going to wait for it to dry a little bit and then I'm going to add some toppings. While I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm going to take a marker to this one and make my waffle um, crisscrosses. Let me try it with my brush first. See how that looks. It's not so bad with the brush. So you have a choice. You can use your brush or you can use marker. I'm going to use the brush. making some crisscrosses and my comb for my waffle So that's my waffle. Let's say you want toppings. Like I'm going to put chocolate sprinkles on my peach one. So I'm going to give it chocolate sprinkles. So for sprinkles, just make a little short dots. And 
going in all different directions. let's say you want chocolate topping on it right so if you want a chocolate topping you'll take let's say this is gonna go on the top so you cover the top of your ice cream cone And then you make a wave. And then you fill it in. You can get pretty creative. You can put gummy bears on it, Skittles, M&Ms. You could put, um, little bits of almonds, have fun with it. chocolate topping you can do fruit topping ping like strawberry syrup you can do caramel syrup which is a tan color okay so that's the chocolate Right? If you want sprinkles, colorful sprinkles, you could do different colors. So I'll put like blue. Notice I am cleaning my brush every time I want to use a new color. Green. And I'm not using a whole lot of paint. And I'm not using a whole lot of water.
I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight on my ice cream to give it some dimension. So I'm gonna take a little bit of white. And give it a highlight. I'm just gonna put the highlight on the right side. And then I'll put a little bit of highlight on my Waffle cone. All right. Oh, put a little bit on my sprinkles. All right, so now I am finished painting. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. Once it dries, I'm going to cut it out and put it on a piece of construction paper. All right, so it's just about dry. I'm actually going to put mine on black paper. You can test it out on colored paper. You could also use yellow. Like I think yellow would be nice to use, like a nice pop of color. All right, so I'm gonna cut it out. Cut it right along the lines.
Okay. So now I have my ice cream. So I'm going to start by seeing how it would look on this paper. On the yellow paper. Then I have it on the black paper. Yeah, I like the yellow paper. So I'm going to put it on the yellow paper. Start by gluing my cone down first. you get the edges so it won't curl up put it right in the center of your paper okay I'm gonna put my chocolate one next You're gonna overlap it on your cone. I'm gonna put my orange next. Okay. I'm doing my cone from dark to light. Okay, dark to light. Now my sprinkles are not showing, but that's okay. Because I may have wanted to change the order of my ice cream. So, but I was just giving you options of what you can put on your scoops. Okay. All right, that's my final. So I notice I have little bits of color on there, but instead of getting frustrated and saying, oh, am I, I messed up, I'm gonna work with it. So since it wants color, I'm gonna give it some color. I'm just gonna put some little dots to make it look like it was done on purpose. Maybe have like some color confetti. Okay. Work with your piece, not against it. in here.
That's the wonderful thing about art. Any kind of art, music, dance, visual art, theater. No one will ever know that you messed up. How will they know? They will never know. won't even know that I had speckles of paint because I made it look like that was done on purpose. Yeah. There we go. Almost done. Now if you want it, you could put a cherry on top. You can add some candy on there if you want to. I'm not gonna put a cherry on mine, but what I will do is put my name on it. It is never done until your name is on it. Okay. And there you have it. So I have my three values of one color and then my contrasting color. I put a little bit of highlight on there, have my waffle, and then I have my topping. You don't have to have toppings if you don't want to. And then I decorated my background. That is also optional. Have fun and I hope you love what you create. Bye for now.